Hello from the Spanish capital. We find ourselves tonight here at the home of Atleti, the Estadio Metropolitano. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. We've got action from the round of 16 in the Champions League to bring you. It's Atletico Madrid taking on Liverpool. Well, down to the last 16 teams, Derek. The cream normally starts to rise to the top at this stage. Big teams will start to show their hands, but I'm sure there'll still be a few upsets. tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team high pressing well high pressing high energy i played this system at arsenal many a year under george graham it doesn't half work when it works well sometimes you can just get exposed in the back but they've got it down to a t to be fair there was definitely a need for a new atletico madrid stadium and they've got the new ground here in the eastern part of the capital the metropolitano and it's brilliantly. It is. I was lucky enough to go to the Calderon and love that stadium. Very old, as you said, and literally falling down. So they needed a new home, and they've done a great job with this one. So the starting lineup for Liverpool. Dejan Lovren plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And leading the attack today is the ultimate pressing machine, Roberto Firmino. And now this Champions League round of 16 first leg begins. Roberto Firmino. Well, Liverpool, the record winners of the European Cup of Champions League amongst English sides. And it's always something magical when they take part in this competition. Well, it's such rich history in this football. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Nothing wrong with that idea. And a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort. He smashed it. Rodri, and given away by Atletico, and going through Mane, and Firmino, is he going to punish them here, Salah, he's unable to take the chance, and he'll be disappointed here, well, nil-nil, it should be one-nil, it really should, understandable that they might look for Koke to make an impact, was angled towards Lamar, and it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, the keeper will be frustrated. He thought he'd saved it. He's so unlucky there. It's a good angle from him as well, but it's in the back of the net. analysis as regards the goal not too fussy in clearing his lines and it's Koke to my Lamar Lamar and a goal is his, such a big moment for Atletico Madrid, who are well on course for success. Well, let's 
see that again. Oh, he's so sweetly hit. Look at his technique. Absolutely brilliant. He's got the power, he's got the accuracy, and now he's got himself a goal. And the goalkeeper at ease with the situation. Well, so he should be. It's an easy save, but he'd still have to make it. And a short corner it has ended up being. And Mane and Salah. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, how many chances do you need to clear the ball? The keeper will be really frustrated at his defenders. They had a chance to clear it, they didn't. It comes back in, there's chaos in there. Back of the net. with Saul and three minutes will be added on for stoppages quick thinking to dispossess his opponent and going through Mane he just keeps going no let up it's gone in beyond the goalkeeper and Liverpool are level Here's the replay. What a time to score, Derek. Kept his cool so late in the game. Easy to snatch at that one. Is there time for a winner? Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. As the game has restarted, we're left to reflect on four goals. 2 2. Koke. No more time left. The referee says that will do it. They will meet again in the second leg. But at the moment, things pretty tight in this tie league. Well, the players have done their bit. Both sets of players earning the draw. Now it's up to the coaches. They'll be going back to the drawing board, trying to work out where the weaknesses are of the opposition. In for a cracker in that second one. And I must say, this stadium falls in the must-visit category for any football fan should the chance come his or her way. Anfield is the venue. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me here on the commentary box for complete coverage is Lee Dixon. And Liverpool have put themselves in a wonderful position ahead of the second leg of this tie in the UEFA Champions League. It is Liverpool against Atletico Madrid. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Atletico with plenty of work to do after that first leg. Not quite good enough, really. They'll need a better performance tonight if they're to progress to the next round. the game. Dejan Lovren plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide and in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack.
It is true, there's nothing quite like a European night here at iconic Anfield. But Lee Dixon, league nights can be pretty special as well, 1989. It pops into the memory now and again, you're right. But I've never played at a stadium, and I have to say this, I've played all around the world, never played at a stadium that evokes so much emotion just before you go out onto the pitch. That sign that says, this is Anfield, it really puts a shiver down your spine. And this is the starting lineup for Atletico. Jan Oblak gets the nod in goal. Jose Maria Jimenez plays with Diego Godin at the back. And the strike partnership, Antoine Griezmann plays alongside Diego Costa. Now Origi. Now Mo Salah. Surely, and a timely goal to give them security and breathing room. What a chance they have now of making it through. Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. A chance to revisit the goal. Andrew Robertson and now Jordan Henderson Salah and no nonsense defensive clearance and using Origi Mane he's gone for power lead but it's wide well no real direction but the power was there and you're right it's just gone past the post come down to the final 20 minutes here a lot of momentum to this Atletico attack it's a chance for Diego Costa well that helps the cause level on aggregate but trailing on away goals they need another here's the replay and I can see why the keeper's a little frustrated he thought he got enough on that to keep it out but it's just come past him and he's unlucky, really. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? And now Jordan Henderson. the volley that's not exactly how he intended to catch it well it's worth a chance one in ten it goes in the top corner nine out of ten goes where it did do Hernandez and here they come now Atletico look and there it is the final whistle and a victory over the two legs and this tie for Liverpool. Well, yeah, Derek, they're through, but by the skin of their teeth. But that's what that rule's there for, the away goal rule. And I'm a big fan of it, to be honest with you. It does set the game up sometimes to be a bit defensive, but you know the rules before they start. Play well away from home, get that away goal. It gives you a big advantage.